Reviewing what you've done daily, weekly, and monthly can be really useful when you're planning out your goals and planning out the actions that you're actually going to do. In this video, what I'm going to do is go over my review process in Notion, and we're starting right now. So I actually have a specific page for reviewing because that's how important I think reviewing information is. I have my review page as a link in my tab bar, and I also have my review page as a link on my page. Now, when I go down to my daily tracking, which is something I have in my main dashboard, you can see I have reminders, and these are just daily habit reminders. But part of my review is actually looking at the areas I need to review and the flashcards I need to review. So if I go into this daily reminder, I can put all of my journal points down if I have anything to, to put in, anything I want to remember. But one of the main points of this page is so that I can see that review number for my area and my review number for the cards. So when I go into my review page, you can see in my areas database, I have one ticked and then I have a flashcard that is showing. If I go into this flashcard, I actually made this flashcard purely for this video because I've done all the flashcards for today. But for this flashcard, it only shows the name of the page. So that would be the question. And because this card was made specifically for this video, it doesn't have an area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach an area to it, learning list. And now that I've attached the area, you can see I have my areas database. So I could have attached any of these areas. But now I've attached the flashcard to an area. If I go back to my main dashboard, you'll be able to see that that rollup has now turned to one instead of zero, which means on my dashboard, I can see how many flashcards I need to review and how many areas I need to review on that day. So going through how my flashcards work, my flashcards basically have a date, which is either when I put the card in or when I last got it wrong. And then I have a review date and that review date works on a formula. This is the formula. And if you want to see more about this, I have done a video. So make sure you check that one out. But what this formula means is all I need to do is look at the card and ask myself, did I get it right or did I get it wrong? And these flashcards could be learning for verbatim. So fill in the words or know the answer to this question, or there could be numerous other different things. If I was to get the card right, I just move the stage up and then the review date will change. If I get the card wrong, the stage go back to one and I change that date to whatever the date I got it wrong. Now, the reason this works is because in my flashcards database, I filter it for review date is on or before today. So if we go into that card, you can see the review date is a formula, but it outputs a date, which means I can filter for it in my main dashboard for reviewing. Then I also have that card count formula, which allows me to count all of those cards for that area, which means I can roll it up into my main dashboard. That's a very quick summary of the flashcards review that I do daily. Sometimes I'll have one or two flashcards, others I may have more. But my areas are actually completely different. So my areas are dashboards in their own. So what I have for this example, I have LinkedIn. So what I've done is I've changed my last review date back a week. So it's showing the tick. And that means that it's going to be ticked and it's going to come up as a one on my dashboard. Now, because this is an area, it's a different database. So I have a review frequency. What the review frequency does is it allows me to change how often I review this area. And in this case, it's every six days. And it's six because in Notion it actually works one day ahead, which means it's not six days, it's seven days, which means it's a weekly review. What this allows me to do with my areas is actually have some areas that I want to review weekly, some every other day, some 14, 21 days. I can choose the frequency I review each area. So some areas such as business areas, I may want to review slightly more frequently than maybe a home area or a social area at this point in time. And because it's a number property, I can change it when I want. Most of my areas look the same. They'll have planning and notes at the top projects, and then tasks. And once I've reviewed the area, so all of the reviews of the areas will be very slightly different depending on what is actually included in the area. But once I've done that review, I can then change the last review date to whenever it is. So if I was to change this date to when it was, which is last Saturday, it will say I don't need to review it yet. If I change it back, you can see the tick will tick when it is appropriate. So if I move it one forwards or one back, it will show or won't show depending on the frequency. Then if I change the number of frequency, that will then change when the date is going to appear. So what that Boolean, that formula check is actually doing is just telling me whether it needs to be reviewed or whether it doesn't, but it's actually calculating a date using the number and the last review date. 
So when going down into this specific LinkedIn area, as you can see, we've got planning, notes at the moment, there aren't any notes or ideas. These could be potential posts or potential notes that I've taken from different lectures, modules, uh, webinars, blogs, videos, anything like that, any note that I've captured and I want to remember that's specific to this area, it will show there. Then I have my calendar of projects, which LinkedIn happens to be posts. So I have all of my posts right there and my projects are there. I can see the progress. And then as I scroll down, I can see the tasks. And to hear more about how I map out my projects and my tasks, I have done a couple of videos on those. So make sure you check out those. Now going into my YouTube space, you can see it's a very similar setup. We still have that frequency of one week. So I'm going to review it every week, but instead of it being Saturday, it's Sunday. Then as we go down, you can see I have my projects that don't have a due date. I have my notes. So these are all potential ideas, potential things that I need to think about when looking at YouTube, maybe SEO, who knows? Then I have my projects, which are all my videos, and then my tasks, which are all related to those projects. When going back into my review dashboard, I also have my resources. So I've already daily reviewed my flashcards, what I want to learn, what I want to retain on a daily basis, my habits. Then I've also reviewed all the different areas on a weekly, two weekly, three weekly, monthly basis. But then I have all of my high level resources. So these are long notes or rich podcasts that I got lots of information out of, but I thought maybe I could go back to it in a month's time, two months time and get more information from it because now I understand what was going on in the conversation slightly better. If we go into one of these notes, you can see my notes processing. And if you want to hear more about how I process notes, I've actually done a further video on that. But what this resource includes is a load of notes broken down, whether from an article, podcast, video, and they're sorted into smaller notes, tasks, projects, and flashcards that are related to this high up resource. But like I mentioned, reviewing a resource can actually bring more notes from the original resource. So if I've watched a 40 minute podcast, two months later, I watch it again, there may actually be different notes or more notes that I can take from that podcast because I now understand what they were talking about slightly better, or I may have a different view on the same thing they were talking about because my context may have changed. Something else that I do in my review process that isn't specifically related to my review dashboard is actually how I review notes. So for those of you that don't know, I actually do a daily blog. So all of the notes that I take on numerous different things, I write about them. So I take a note, I reword it in my own form so I understand it in my own words and I then post it on my blog. So I have a daily blog. And all of those blog posts are different thoughts from notes that I've captured. And once I've done all of those blogs for a month, I will then actually summarize that month of blog posts. So what I'm essentially doing is capturing a note, then turning that note into a blog post, which is rewording that note or thinking about that note further. And that process is two or three processes in. So I'm actually looking at the note numerous times. Then once I've published that note, I then review all of those notes, all of those blog posts from the month all together. So I can get another view, i.e. another review of all of the notes that I've taken. And I can compare all of those to what I'm currently learning in the actual month. So you can see August's summary is due in the 1st of October. So going through the August summary of notes, I'm actually looking at all of those notes from August while I'm taking notes in September. Now, this is just my process of reviewing different notes and different things that I'm doing. And everyone is different. But if you're interested to hear more about how I use Notion in my daily life, make sure you check out this video over here and I'll see you there.